Hello and welcome to my workshop. Today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Mac 3 onto a brand new, well, so say brand new Windows 10 64 bit computer because they've sorted everything out. Okay, let's jump straight into this. So I better make me a little smaller like that. And we go straight into Google and we'll put in here, I've already done it actually, or looked for it and checked it out before I, I uh, am going to tell you guys that everything's cool. Okay, so Newfangled Solutions, straight into that. Okay. Uh, and it takes you straight into the right uh, page and uh, obviously you're going to have to purchase a license but it doesn't stop you downloading it and uh, getting it into your computer and you know, sort of starting to set it up. Uh, you're allowed to use I think 500 lines of code uh, before you actually put a license in. You can't do an awful lot with 500 lines of code. So okay we're going to download Mac 3. So this is in real time. I think that's now nearly there. It's 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 going. Got a little bit of a slow internet today, I think. Let me just go big screen a second. Yeah, you can see it's, um, we're saying eight minutes, but uh, if it is going to be that long, I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Yeah, they're working on the um, the phone lines, actually. Uh, we've had a, quite a lot of water around, and uh, so we're down on a, a diminished uh, level of um, internet at the moment. Um, anyway, it gives me a little bit of time to uh, talk to you guys. Um, not this video, I, you know, this is just download Mac 3, getting onto a fairly new Windows 10 64-bit uh, computer, and um, we'll begin to set it up. Um, but the next video, I've had a number of people ask me um, about writing G code and indeed um, where in Mark 3 do you put um, sort of measurements if you want to move your head um, a set distance but not just in one axis in several axes and uh, I think the next video I'll show you how to do that on my CNC router up there. Um, which I think is interesting maybe for a lot of you. It's, it's interesting to know anyway. And um, yeah, this is coming. I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so that looks as though it's finished, which is fine. So we can come out of that. I can make this a little small. In fact, we can, uh, we can drop out of this now. It doesn't matter. We don't really require the internet now. Okay, so I'll just move me over here like that and um, excuse me not looking at the camera because I'm looking at my screen. <laughs> uh, okay, so we will go to here, go into downloads and there it is there so I'm going to take this whole thing and put it into this folder here like that drop out of that open this up uh, you can see I've already oh, it won't move I'll put me there so you can see here, this is my license uh, for Mac 3 that I've had for 
years. So now what I'm going to do is double click on that and now we're going to install Mac 3. Alright, so this is the installation wizard. There are There is something on here that you definitely need to uh, untick because it may mess your computer up. So I'm going to say next and yes agree to the license. You can read this if you want to but um, next and next. Now this is the one that you need to untick to go into a 64-bit. It may and it may not upset your computer. You may end up with a blue screen if you allow that to go in. Okay, so that's the you know the one you really need to um, mind. So we're going to say next, and yeah, I'll put I'll have all the profiles put in. I can delete what I don't want later. Next, next. So it'll just take a few minutes for Mac 3 to install. And it's it. Simple as that. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. So I'll just drop that down. Um, okay, so here's all the different um, f files that has been um, put come in with Mac 3. All we're interested in here is the Mac 3 mill. So we're going to open Mac 3 in a 64-bit newish uh, computer. Okay, there you go. So it's in and working. Um, let's move Mark 3 over here a little bit so you can still see me. I don't know whether you're interested in seeing me. But anyway, now this is what you probably need to do first off. Um, is come into config, um, select your native units. All right, now it's saying to you that Oh, don't do it in this screen, but I'm saying yes, do it. When you have decided whether you want to work in inches or whether you want to work in millimeters, um, and you normally would do that as you were you know, sort of putting the program in. So I'm saying I always work in millimeters, and that's it. You only have to ever do it once. If you change your mind, and you want to go into, you know, you want Mac 3 to work in inches or whatever, after you've set it up, you're going to have to set it up again. Okay. Um, so come into config, and the next thing you want to change is if you come into general configuration, and let me see, where is it? All the way down. High resolution, that will give you the big high resolution screen there. Um, no need at this stage to alter anything um, until you start um, filling in Mark 3 to uh, suit your machine. I mean, at the moment, there's, there's nothing in here. It'll be completely blank, ready for you to put all the necessary figures in to match up with your CNC machine. So at the moment, um, what we also need to do is come into config. Um, there's not many settings, but we'll say save settings. It's something to sort of get into um, the habit of doing if you've altered any settings. Um, so what you can do then is come out of it and end the session. And then when you go into it again, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do before we go into it. Um, I'll go into it again just to... Okay, 
Okay, so you can see that we're in demo mode there and it is now the big full high definition screen. Okay, so I'm going to come out of it again now because we're going to put in my license. So somewhere here, got that open. Uh, so we're going to open that, open that again, open that again. Now this is the DAT file that you would need. You, you know, you, it would be a DAT file um, sort of sent to you by uh, Mac support. So you just highlight it, left, right click, sorry, and copy. And then what a lot of people don't like doing is go into your this computer, go into your C drive and go into Mac, just come off the on anywhere on the anywhere on the white piece piece of screen there, left click and paste. And the dat file is there. You can either do that or you can put it into plugins. Paste. There. Close out of that. Open Mac 3 again. And there you can. Let's. So there you can see that it is my licensed version. Where am I? There I am. So there you can see it's my license, licensed version there. And that is how to install Mac 3, which now that they've sorted everything out and there is no problems, of course, Windows 10 now is not the new operating system. Windows 11 is, but uh, I I don't know anybody that has put Mac 3 into Windows 11. Uh, I don't use Windows 11 myself, so I can't advise you. I can't find any information actually of anybody putting Mac 3 into Windows 11. So I don't know whether it'll work or not. But it certainly works now with uh, Windows 10, 64-bit, no problem at all. Um, so there you have it. Um, not this. I have done other videos where I've shown you how to set Mac 3 up and how to tune the, you know, the seven motors in and things like that. Um, However, in about two and a half, two to two and a half months from now, I will be doing a new build, and uh, I'll show you from go to wall in that uh, operating with a Windows 10 64-bit computer, um, how to set up Mac 3 in the, with that new machine. So, um, okay. So I think like the next one, I'll show you a little bit of uh, G code and how to, uh, you know, where to write it into Mac 3 and uh, to move your your spindle around and, you know, um, on, you know, with a command of G code, not just sort of move it with your mouse. Um, okay then, so. If you've liked the video today, please press like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Oh, and if you really like what I'm doing, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons that keeps this channel going. Okay then, so bye for now.